In this demo video for AutoCAD, I would like to go over how to create a drawing like this. And this is going to be uh, using a combination of some of the basic concepts that I've covered in a few previous videos. So we'll be using um, circles and lines and join, things like that, and then using commands like copy at specific distances um, to get them um, equal distance apart, and then use some different hatching techniques. So I'm just going to move that off to the side and I'm going to come up and grab the circle and I'm using the center radius. So I'll select that and I could just use um, object snap tracking here to line these up. Keep it kind of neat. All right. And then uh, based on my measurements here, since this has an eight foot diameter, I will do a four foot radius. Okay. And then within that, we see that we have a four foot by four foot square. So there's, you know, different ways to do this, but um, just in terms of thinking about how to line things up, um, one way would be to draw it on the outside. So four feet by four feet. And I'll do C for close. And, you know, then we could simply give ourselves um, a guideline in the middle so that when we use move, select the objects and move from this midpoint, it's really easy to center inside of the circle. So it's just using move and grabbing that guideline, which I can now delete. The same thing will be true for this triangle. So I'll use a simple line this time and I'll do a horizontal line at 24 inches and I'll hit enter to get out of that command and enter again to start line over. Then I will come up from this midpoint straight up 24 inches and then I'll use lines to just connect those two corners and now I can move this in as well. So I'll use move, select it all, hit enter grab the midpoint of this line, and I could center it in the circle. You just gotta move it around a little bit to get in there. And now we have that centered in there nicely. At that point, I can delete that guideline, and I could even join this together. Um, it's not as if I would really have to, but it's kind of nice, um, just you know, in terms of having a clean drawing. To do that, we can use um, join out of the modify tab. It's this button right here. It's the two arrows pointing at each other. You could always type in J for join as well. I'll select these three lines, hit enter, and now it's a polyline. Now that I have all three of these shapes nested together, I can copy them specific distances apart. So I see that, once again, it's 8 feet across the circle, 8 foot diameter, and then 2 feet in between. So if I want to use copy, I'll select all three at once, hit enter, and now I need to pick a base point. I'm going to grab this left quadrant, and remember that's with object snap on, and if you don't have quadrant, you can simply right click on your object snap settings at the bottom of the screen, and Grab that quadrant right there. Oops. Do that again. Grabbing that point, and now I'll just slide my mouse over, and I can type in the measurements. So if my circle's eight feet across, and I want there to be a two foot gap in between, I need to type in 10 feet, enter, and now we see that that's uh, the two feet distance in between. So to do this again, I would now do 20 feet enter and I could continue on that way. So if I just hit enter to end that command you'll see that we have these three circles all neatly in a row just like we do over here. Now how do we do um, these diagonal lines? That's simply using hatching. So to get to the hatching we're going to go up to the home tab in the draw panel and we're looking for this button right here, hatch. Once we get into that menu, you'll see that we have a lot of options between solid and angles, and there's all sorts of brick patterns and things we can pick. So I'm just using um, this basic one, the ANSI 31. All right, so I'll pick that one. And um, you'll have to play around with the scale a little bit. So it always defaults at one. Well, what happens if I come over here and say pick points and hover when something's 
at a very small scale, it'll look super, super tight. So if I click in there and just hit enter to end that hatching command, it looks solid. It doesn't look like this over here. So even if I you know, get real close, you'll see that, okay, it actually is a hatching pattern. It's just really, really dense. So I'm going to click on that. And this time I'll come up to the scale and I'll try something like maybe 20 or 30. So I have 20 and I can close the hatch editor and that looks much better. So we see that to get into unique shapes like this we can do pick points. So I'm going to grab that hatch, use pick points, and if you hover over you'll see that it allows you to go into different unique closed areas. So that works really well for doing something like this triangle right here, and I'll change that to 20 again. And I could also do this exterior part of the circle to match. So if I do that and hit enter, I'd like you to notice something. When I come over here, if I click on that initial hatch I did, it's its own unique object. I'll hit escape, and now you'll see this triangle and the circle are together as an object and that's because I did the hatch at the same time so it's just something to keep in mind okay so to do this final one we have the hatch going all the way across the drawing okay so the previous ones I did hatch picked my um, pattern and I had used pick points right well you'll notice that if you try to go in and do that it's just going to keep moving your hatch around and it's very frustrating. What you need to do is the select and that will allow you to select any given shape. I need to get out of there for a second. Select and there you go. So now it goes all the way over this other geometry. So I'll hit enter and now you'll see that we have um, the same basic drawing that we started with.